just found a brand new AI app that allows you to build viral apps from your phone in minutes. This means that you can now build the app of your dreams while you're on the go without sitting in front of your computer. You could even do it during your free time while you're on a walk or even when you're in traffic. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this app is, how to use it, and I'm gonna give you three mobile app ideas that I think could go viral for 2026. Now. That brand new tool that I'm talking about is going to be rocket.new because as we can see here, they have a brand new mobile app where you can build on the go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paste in this prompt that I have right here in order to actually build an app. So I wanna build a modern mobile first web app called Clear Path Debt that helps users create, visualize, and stick to a personalized debt repayment plan. Here's the core objective. We could go through exactly what the objective is here. We could go through what it should be asking for. Then this goes into the strategy section. And then if we scroll all the way down, it goes into all the different features that this tool should have and all of the different design preferences that I have for this tool. Now, from here, if we wanted to, if we had screenshots of what we want the UI to look like or something like that, you would be able to add them in by clicking on this little icon right here, where you would then be able to add things from files, gallery, or from a camera. For the sake of this, I don't have this. And then if we also scroll down, I did wanna show you here, they have a bunch of different tutorials, they have a community, they have a help section if you get stuck anywhere, and they have tons of different templates here. So if you wanted to build out a tool based on a template, you would be able to do that right here. But for the sake of this, we're gonna click on this right here, and we could see that we are now going off and we are building a viral app from our phone, which can now be done on the go, while you're driving, well, not while you're driving, but you know what I mean, while you're in the car commuting somewhere, while you're on a walk, and while you're out of the house away from your computer, because if you know anything about building apps, sometimes they need to be updated. Sometimes they break, and guess what? If you're not near your computer, this can cause a lot of anxiety, but Rocket fixes that because now you can manage your app straight from your phone. So we can see that this now goes through. This built out exactly what a framework is going to be. So our default framework is going to be this. We could use the default framework, or if we wanted to, we would be able to customize that right here. And I didn't actually mean to click on that. So now we're just gonna go through and we're gonna choose all of these different things. But I did want to just go with what they actually recommend. So we're just gonna prove these. But you see how quickly this goes through, this thinks, this takes action, and this right here is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how quick this is. I cannot believe how intuitive this is, and I can't believe that we're gonna be able to manage the entire process from our phone of creating, fixing, deploying, and managing the app. Because the reality is that this is a real build studio designed for mobile, not a desktop shrunk down to an iPhone. So we could see that it's going through and it's now going to begin actually creating this app. And we could see right from here, we have preview, we have code, we have more. Now, once this is actually built, I'm gonna show you a few other crazy features that this has. So we see right here, select the screens that you wish to build. I'm gonna go through and I'm actually going to have it build all of these. And we're gonna say, build the web app. We have these five screens and it's going through and it is beginning to work on this. Now, while this is actually building this out, I did want to tease a few things that are going to be coming soon because the Rocket team is constantly expanding the offers that they have and trying to improve the product. Now, the first thing that's going to be coming soon to mobile is Figma to code on mobile. Right now, this isn't available, but it's going to be available in the future. The next thing that's going to be coming soon is right now, there's no direct code editor access on mobile, but again, that's coming soon. And then they also have no slash commands, visual edit mode, or export slash download code from mobile. You could do all of these different things from the web app if you were at your computer, but right now, those things don't exist on mobile, so I did want to be fully transparent about that. And just like that, we could see that this is now going through and this is generating all this code here. Now, while that goes off and does that, I did wanna emphasize a few other things that we can see here. So we could see that our project is being built right here. If we come into settings, they have a bunch of things here. For example, you could actually manage all of your different integrations straight from inside of here. And we could see that there are tons of them. You could very easily hook this up to OpenAI, to Anthropic, to Gemini, to Stripe, to GitHub, to Netlify, to Supabase. And you could do that 
straight from your phone if you wanted to. In addition to that, if we come over here, we could see enable sign in with Face ID. So basically they have Face ID slash biometric security. Because if you're building an app and it takes off, you don't want just anybody to be able to go to your phone and then be able to access your app and be able to change things. So you're gonna to wanna to turn this on so that your app is fully secure. In addition to that, you could turn on notifications here. So you could get one tap actions. For example, if something breaks on your app, this will alert you or if somebody's having an issue, it will alert you and with one click, you can come on here and you can fix whatever issue popped up. Now, just like that, we could see that this has actually gone through and this has created the app. And we could preview what it looks like on a phone. We could see what it's going to look like on an iPad. We could see what it's going to look like on a computer. And we could do all this straight from here. We could access the code straight from here and see all of this. We could come over into here. Actually, this is the readme file. Like I was saying before, it's hard to actually access the code from here. We can see it, but you can't download it or anything like that yet. And now if we come back over to preview, we could see exactly what this looks like. We could test it out. We can mess around with it, which is awesome. And if we come into more, we could see that we could launch it straight from our phone on a custom domain. We could see all the project info. We could share the debug info if we wanted to, and we could manage and see all of these different integrations and set them up, which is incredible, all straight from our phone. In addition to that, we could come over here, we could actually see all of these different dashboards and check everything out. And if we wanted to make changes to anything, guess what? We'd be able to do that directly from our mobile device. For example, I am going to come over here and I'm gonna say something like, can we please add more blue slash dark colors to the home page and then what this is going to do is this is actually going to go through this is going to understand the request and this is going to go through and change the css here so that the home page looks different so it says i'll add more blue and dark colors we can see that this is now going through and working on the request and we can see just how easy it is to make any change that we want to our app all from a mobile device. And again, we come out of a preview. Once this is done, we're gonna refresh this and we'll be able to see exactly what this actually looks like. And if you wanted to send the link to somebody, you could do this and we can actually see the built link right here on our phone, which is pretty incredible. Okay, and just like that, we could see that this has actually gone through. This has completed the task and we could see that it updated things and it's now going through and actually adding that. So we could come back over to preview over here and we could see what this is now going to look like. We're gonna just click on refresh. Now, just like that, this went through and this changed exactly what this looks like. So you could see just how easy it is to edit things directly from your phone. On top of that, this also allows you to sync up instantly between your phone and between your computer. If you did come back to your computer or wanted to work on this from your computer, we just come over to my projects and we could see immediately the app right here on our computer. And again, we could go through the code on here. We could go through the integrations. We could see the preview. We can manage everything. And it's incredible how this allows you to seamlessly go from your phone to your computer, vice versa. and not lose any functionality. Now, before I dive into the three ideas that I think could go viral as mobile apps for 2026, I wanted to remind you that you can go to the pinned comment below and download Rocket today and get started building for yourself. Because it's time that you finally turn your screen time into build time and get back those hours right now that you're wasting and turn them in to productivity. Now, viral app idea number one is going to be creating something that will ask people to track their GLP-1 shots or whether or not they've actually taken their medicine. Because if you know anything about people that have to take medicine every day. It's on their mind all day. It's causing them constant anxiety and they would love to have an app like this that could actually solve that. So Shotzi is doing that with GLP-1s and you could build a competitor to this or you could build something better than this. Essentially what this does is this allows you to be able to track your weekly GLP-1 shots, the side effects and add notes. You could sync data for weight loss, protein, what you're eating. You can also record the injection sites that you're using and we could see this tool is doing really well. Over 600,000 downloads and I think that you could build an app or a tool that is better than this using Rocket and be able to get 
even more downloads than this. In addition to that, if you wanted to go after something a little bit broad or a little bit something different, this is a medicine tracker app. Because if you know anything about somebody that has to take medicine every single day, it causes them constant anxiety. They can never remember whether or not they did it. And they would love to have an app on their phone where they could track whether or not they've taken things, whether or not they've missed things. And it can even set an auto alarm or give them a notification that, hey, you have to take XYZ. And this would be incredibly helpful helpful. Not only is this a great opportunity to make an app that's going to go viral, but you'd also really be helping people out. The second type of app that I really think could go viral is going to be something that allows you to, in, to track all of your expenses. For example, this app does this right here. Basically, whenever you buy something, this goes through and automatically sends a receipt off. And then if you have a manager or if you wanted to track this yourself, you'd be able to actually approve these transactions, which is incredibly cool. This allows you to keep spend within policy controls. This allows you to reduce 85% of manual expense reviews. And you could do this not only for businesses where people are trying to expense things, but also just for keeping track of your life. Because if you look at the metrics of how many people out there don't have any money or are struggling with their finances, it's very staggering. So you could build an app like this either to help businesses be able to track their expenses or to help individuals be able to better budget, better track their expenses, and understand why they're spending money and they're never getting ahead during these crazy times that we have. And this right here would be an example of this, where you would be able to link all of this up, you'd be able to track all of your current spend, you'd be able to see all of your accounts and everything from one place so that people can ditch spreadsheets, detect where they're wasting money, and watch your hard work actually pay off. And along the same vein as this, you could actually track all the subscriptions that people have and help them be able to cancel them. Now that final app idea that I have is something like this where Gas Buddy can help you find and pay for gas. So basically, I personally hate overpaying for gas. And for some reason, the gas station on the side of the road that I'm always on is always like 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents more expensive. So if I had an app like this and I was actually able to plan this out, this would be really, really powerful. So the idea that I have for the app is you'll actually be able to find the right gas station near you. You could filter by price. You could filter by amenities, what kind of coffee they have, maybe what kind of snacks they have, whether or not they carry that drink that you're looking for. And this will allow people to complete challenges and win free gas. It'll allow them to actually improve their fuel efficiency and monitor their driving habits. And I want you to think about at this. This would be incredibly powerful, especially if people have to drive for work. For example, truck drivers would love an app like this because it would allow them to save money. And maybe their company can even do some type of kickback where if they save money because they fuel up at cheaper places, they end up getting some type of kickback based on how much money they're actually saving the company. Or if you own a company, you could implement something like this. And I think that this would be really powerful again to help people save money. And all these different app ideas that I've had will all very easily make very viral content based on all these different ideas because they're going to help people save time, they're going to help people save money, and all of them are going to improve people's lives. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a brand new AI tool that you can use to build out AI videos and AI avatar videos in order to promote your new app. Check it out here.